Good morning, YouTube. Uh, I, it's early. I woke up at five o'clock today to go fishing. And yesterday I got food poisoning, so that was quite an ordeal, but should be pretty exciting. Um, Nikki D kind of passed on the trip because it's kind of like an all day thing for me. You know, I come down here and I fish for a really, really, really long time and she doesn't like getting up early, so it's just a guy trip today. One man. One camera, hopefully more than one fish. Part of the reason I have to get up so early to go fishing uh, is just to beat all the traffic uh, trying to get down to Huntington Beach where I'm going out on Roger's boat today. Well, I'm not actually going out on the boat, but I'm gonna take the dinghy out and just, you know, fish around a little bit and do some fun stuff, but there's so much traffic in Southern California that you just kind of have to get out ahead of it. And when it comes around to 6 a.m., 6.30 a.m., the freeway is pretty much lock up and you do not want to be in a gridlocked freeway in Southern California because instead of taking me you know, 50 minutes to get down there, it could take me two hours because I've come all the way through Los Angeles to the beach cities and that's just no fun. That's a destroyer made to destroy things. That's kind of really cool, you know, it's a, there's like a military harbor here where they keep either a battleship or a destroyer, you know, and it's usually out either doing training exercises or on deployment, but every once in a while it's here, and let me tell you what, that is not something I'd ever want to tangle with. The thing is just beast mode to the max. All right, I'm just stopping at Huntington Bait and Tackle to get a little bait, and then we're gonna head out of here. Ooh, ooh, take me to the place I love. Oh wait, I'm already there. I don't know, you guys probably know my little spiel, but being out on the water, fishing, you know, skiing and fishing are my two favorite things to do in the entire planet. I'm not sure which order they are, because when you're skiing in Colorado on the mountains, it's, it's unbelievably awesome. But when you're out fishing, you know, catching fish, that's also unbelievably awesome. So I'm just glad to be here. I've got all my stuff. I stopped at Subway, 7-Eleven, Circle K, the bait shop, and I am ready to go, baby. All right, so I made it out to the boat. Got some bait here. And for everybody busting my balls last fishing video for saying I was using shrimp instead of squid, I apologize. I knew I was using squid. Um, I just accidentally said shrimp because I'm dyslexic. And I'm convinced that my dyslexia is also like verbal dyslexia. Sometimes I say things I don't mean to say and I don't even note it. All right, so I am set up. I got my line in the water. Got my tackle boxes, my camera gear, a little bit more tackle, all my food. Everything is ready to go. I'm looking forward to a fantastic day of fishing. Wow, so the Santa Ana winds picked up. It's really, really, really windy. So I've decided not to go fishing. Psych! Oh, I just pranked you guys so hard. Um, but it is really windy out. Normally the wind's not even blowing and as you can see out there, it's blowing really, really, really hard. So my original plan was to have Captain Tim uh, take me out in this boat and kind of park me somewhere where I could just catch fish generally. Um, so I've decided instead of going out in the yacht, I'm taking out the hot rod. Um, so I'll be taking out the inflatable dinghy. I've got everything that I need uh, to go out, load it up in here, and let's go catch some fish. And away we go! I'll probably throw a line out behind me, uh, you know, and just troll something through the harbor, see if I catch anything. I have these little shiny uh, things that go like this, and the guy at the bait shop basically said, you know, you throw these out, they'll pretty much catch anything. Dang it, I didn't get the camera out fast enough to turn it on. But I just saw a sea lion eating a gigantic fish. Oh, that was awesome. He was just thrashing it back and forth like wham, wham, wham. I have absolutely no what kind of fish it was, but I just saw the sea lion's head and I was coming up on it and I was like, hey, what the heck is that? It looks like a fish flopping back and forth, but I mean, it looks like a fish that's 10 feet long. All of a sudden, the sea lion just flips his fish over and then I think as I got nearer and nearer, uh, he actually took off, but wow. Wow. That was Freaking cool! Wow. Well, I feel really bad about pranking you guys earlier because I got about halfway out to the seawall, and there's probably about three or four foot, four foot waves. <laughs> it's pretty bad. Um, I filled the whole boat with water and soaked all my stuff, but this water, this is a self-draining boat, so that's not a big deal. And I keep getting sprayed in the face. I feel like that guy or kid in the pool is having a splashing fight. He's like, no, don't splash me! Um, but the motor died halfway out there. Oh, and it's a really a pretty, I mean, it's probably about a, you know, a mile out from where I left the harbor. So I've decided to turn around and head back into the harbor. There's one spot by the bridge where I can fish. I'm sorry if it's really, really windy out and the mic's picking up all this wind because it is super windy out right now. Um, 
But like I said, the motor died on me halfway out, so I don't want to go all the way out there and then have the motor completely die. At least if it dies, I can drop down the anchor and be relatively close to the harbor so somebody can come and get me that's not the Coast Guard. Uh, but I'm trolling my line out behind me, just getting covered in salt water. It's pretty salty. But uh, hopefully I'll catch some fish up here. All right, so I've anchored uh, by the bridge, uh, kind of right by the channel here. Not actually in the channel, that's illegal. Uh, but I figured you know, I'll throw a couple casts here. A lot of people catch a lot of fish here, and uh, hopefully I catch something or else this, this trip will be. I mean, it's always nice to get out in the ocean. That's completely awesome. I have the greatest job ever to be able to come out here and make fishing videos. But it is always depressing not to catch a fish, so let's get one. Oh my God, that's hilarious. I just pulled up my bait and I caught a starfish. Look at this little guy. <laughs> oh, well, at least I caught something today. Well, thanks for the entertainment, little starfish, but it's time for you to go home. There he goes. Oh my God, look at all of the sea lions. There they are. All right, so I've made it out to the seawall. It's, there's not even like a half foot waves out here because all the wind is coming right at me and the seawall is blocking it all. So it was a little choppy getting out here, but it was kind of fun. The biggest problem I had was this bucket of bait and it's just dirty, dirty, nasty, slimy, smelly water. Um, it might have gotten on me a little bit. All right, so here's fish number one on the day. And I actually just threw it out about 50 feet from the boat parallel to the rock wall right there and caught this guy. I'm gonna go ahead and let him go and see if I can catch another one. God damn seagull just stole my bait. Ah! I only have four of those. Shake my fist at you seagull. Well, I was actually just trying to feed the, uh, the sea lions, but the seagulls got the fish first and it was kind of disappointing. They're just so fast. They fly over and eat it before the sea lions have a chance and it's kind of a bummer. All right guys, well I'm gonna head in. I'll probably stop at the bridge for maybe 45 minutes to an hour, do a little bit more fishing. But uh, yeah, I got a couple fish out here. It was a fun day. Hopefully I can get back out here soon and catch some bigger and better fish. All right, so I just unloaded all my stuff. I'm getting packed up. I threw my lines out behind the boat with some bait on it and I have a fish. I've got a fish. Check this out. Booyah. It's got a, some sort of bass here. It could be a barbed bass. So the fish I caught, I actually got on the GoPro, um, swallowed the hook and I decided just to go ahead and cut the line uh, because fish, they have acid in their stomach that actually can dissolve uh, fish hooks and over time they'll come out and a lot of times they'll live if they swallow a fish hook or at least that's what I've been told my entire life. So I just cut the line and let them swim off and hopefully he lives to see another day and get a little bit bigger. Doing a little fishing off the back of the boat. Uh, it's rush hour in Los Angeles right now, and rush hour is absolutely terrible. It'll probably take me about two, two and a half hours to get home from Huntington Beach to where I live in North Hollywood. So I'm just gonna hang out here for about an hour, and then when I take off, you know, I should be home mm, within an hour and a half. Got my dual rod set up. Come on, fish. Let's see that bobber down. Well, I've dumped out all my bait. I've cleaned up all the stuff. I've got the trash ready to go. I've got all my stuff loaded in the car. I'm gonna head home now and uh, see what Nikki's up to. I really missed her hanging out here all day, kind of without her. It's kind of a bummer, but I really wanted to just get out there and go fishing and actually catch something and make a quality fishing video for you guys. So thanks for tuning in. I really appreciate it. And we'll see you next time. Uh, that was disgusting. Nikki's gonna be like, gross, when she's editing this. Ha <laughs> ha. Well, I am getting some in and out. In and out. The greatest fast food ever. I figured out, you know, I was in the sun, I was out of the boat. I got food poisoning yesterday too. Totally just took it out of me. Um, but I'm excited to get some in and out and I'm gonna be home pretty quick. And I think I'm gonna watch a movie with Nikki because I haven't seen her and I wanna spend time with her. I'm fucking Hey. No. Hello. Hi, dogs. Ah. I'm getting attacked. I'm getting attacked. I'm not Hello. Hi. Oh, this is the face of a man who's been fishing all day. 
Well, I had a wonderful time fishing. I really, really miss Nikki. I've got some food. She's got some food. I think we're gonna watch a movie or something and just have a laid back night. The dogs really missed me. It was so cute. But we'll see you guys tomorrow. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and favorite this video. We'll see you tomorrow. Did I say that? No. Maybe not repeating myself. Mm -hmm. Take your finger out of your ear, you little nasty. <laughs>